good morning. We are back on the water and we're fishing. Today we're fishing for splake. We're not fishing for walleyes. Uh, although we are getting into some perch, um, we've actually been set up for a little bit now and uh, wasn't really going to break out the gear until we kind of knew that we were going to get on some fish, but uh, we got the tip-ups all set up. We've actually already caught two fish. We've got two splake and I think Ryan's got about three perch in there. So, uh, so far so good. Off to a good start. Hopefully um, we get into some more. Uh, Got my brother out here with me, so that's pretty cool. He's actually right over here. Wave to the camera, Aaron. Yep, there's Aaron. Finally got him out. So I'm sure a lot of you will be happy to know that he's alive and well. <laughs> so yeah, all we're doing really, um, it really isn't a secret lake or anything like that. It's actually a really popular lake for Splake. A lot of people travel up to come, um, you know, try their hand out. At catching these splake but um, I'm not gonna say the lake if you know where we're at you know where we're at so um, what we're doing is splake um, much like their half parent the lake trout really like structure and they crew structure use structure to feed their other parent which is the brook trout tends to during ice season go shallow and they like to eat bugs and feed on smaller bait fish so um, we're kind of kind of killing two birds with one stone here in the fact that we're using a really steep drop off on this lake uh, which it's like this all the way around the lake um, so it's not really one particular spot uh, as much as it is a tactic or a setup so but we got them up in about seven to ten feet of water and these fish come really shallow which means they have to go really close to the shore uh, to hunt to find bait um, so while ryan's catching a bunch of perch in there we got the tip-ups out here me and aaron are going to be jigging kind of cruising around and everything so hopefully we can uh, bring you guys some fish like i said we already got some topside i'll give you a look at those but uh yeah should be a good day any more, Ryan? Mm -mm. No. So here's the uh, two that I got so far, but to give you a look at uh, what a nice splake looks like, this is the splake. As you can see, um, has a lot of similar markings uh, as, a, as a brook trout and a lake trout. Um, so you see the red fins with the white tips. That's more uh, indicative of a brook trout as to where you, know, you can see a lot of the marks on the fish really looks like a, a lake trout so a perfect combination of both of them these are really really aggressive fish and they're fun to catch and they're fun to eat bad thing is they don't reproduce these are hatchery fish they're made to catch and eat so um, if they're legal we're not releasing them today unless we get our limit <laughs> which would also be pretty cool but yeah this is uh, a really cool lake like i said it's a really good opportunity a lot of people know about this it's uh not a secret not a hidden gem or anything like that but uh, there's plenty of lakes around michigan that have these fish in there so um just wanted to touch base on all that so with all that being out of the way we're gonna get back to fishing i'm gonna get the jigging and see if we can uh Get some more of these on the ice. All right, let's see what this is. Oh, she's spinning. She's spinning good. Oh, damn. Good one, huh? Yeah, I think it's a good one. That's a nice one. It's a really nice one. Come on, boy. I don't know. I think he's big as I thought. No, he's just fighting hard. Alright. Alright. 
About the same size as the one I just caught. He fought hard though. Yeah. He swallowed it. Oh yeah, he did. Check that out. That is cool. Heck yeah. Cool looking fish. That was probably one of the planted ones. I think that one you got was probably enough. That is the bad thing about these fish is if you were to happen to catch a small one, man, they just devour it and they don't really give you a chance to, you know, give a good release. No, I gotta put another hook on. Oh, we got a flag up. <sighs> yeah, that's spinning really good. He's still there. Oh yeah, he's there. He's super big. Oop. Shaky. Oh yeah, not a bad fish. Oh! Are you kidding me? Oh my god, they shake so much. fish. Come on, come on, come on. I'm using like really light lines, so I gotta be very careful. God, they're so slimy. Get out of there. <laughs> oh my God. There was like 30 opportunities there for me to screw that up. Oh, there's another good one. Like I said, these fish are just so aggressive. Yeah, once again, I mean, they don't. Luckily, I'm keeping these fish because they just mangle it. There he is. Another nice fish. Awesome fish. Oh my god, do they taste good. We're going to do a, a catch and cook because this is, these are some of the best eating fish you'll ever find. Get a better look at them here. Look at that. Just a cool fish. I mean, the colors on them, awesome. Thank you to the Michigan DNR for planting these too because, you know, without the DNR planting these, we wouldn't have the opportunity to come out here and catch them. So, a cool fish. There's a lot of people out here right now. I see some other people chasing flags, so it seems to be uh, like everyone's getting into some fish. All right, let's go put him with the others, and I gotta put another hook on that. Well, having to change this kind of gives me the opportunity to explain what I'm using here. So basically, this is like any other tip-up setup. Um, my details on it um, are light line, fluorocarbon leaders. And on this particular one, I have six pound Seaguar fluorocarbon. Uh, line as a leader while these fish are not that finicky um, you know they will get line shy a lot of people fish this lake this lake gets pressure a lot so I'm using a number 10 hook treble hook uh, this one just so happens to be red there's nothing um, uh, 
special about the hook color. So, tip it with a minnow, obviously, and put it down about two and a half, three feet off the bottom. These fish cruise pretty much all over the water column, so that's why I like to get it a little bit higher off the bottom, especially when I'm fishing structure like this. I want uh, fish that are maybe even a little bit shallower to be able to see that from a little bit ways away. But this really isn't that hard of fishing. Uh, it doesn't take an expert to do this. These fish are stocked. Um, what are you doing there? Okay. These fish are stocked. They're not the smartest fish, you know, but they're aggressive. You don't really have to worry too much about hook size here. Cause like I said, these fish are super aggressive and when they make the decision to bite, they're, they're coming to bite. They usually engulf it, swallow it, and that's why most of the fish that we've caught today, you know, they were gonna die anyways because they swallow the hook and you gotta yank it out. So, but yeah, that's a little bit about that setup. I had no faith in splay or pretty good. even decent purge. Five good splay. Any less perch there? Not bad. Good job. Alright, we're gonna go home and we're gonna cook a couple of these up. Show you guys how we cook them up. Um, they're gonna taste great, so we're gonna get up the ice. Alright, so as promised, I got the splake here. Beautiful orange fillets. They're amazing. Got them all cleaned up. Ryan's actually over here cleaning up the perch that we got today. So, and Bella, she's wanting some. Oh, she likes perch. So, this is really simple. All we're going to do is we're going to take this, we're going to dip it in like an egg wash and put it in this. It's not even a special batter. I think it's like McCormick's or something like that. Put it in there, and then boom, goes into the hot peanut oil. All right, so I got the splake here, got the egg whites, and then I got the fish fry mix and peanut oil. So we're going to take this, just throw it in there, get it wet. Boom. Roll it around real nice and good. And there she goes. All right, now we got our fish really cooking. Just like any other fish, you're waiting for that to turn golden brown. And then over here, I have some lemons cut up. And I got some tartar sauce, which it's just something I got from Walmart. And to complete the process with any fish, you gotta have a beer. So, can't wait. This stuff should be done in about two minutes. Oh, yeah. Get a little bit of lemon on that. Mm. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That'll do it? That's the good stuff. There you go. Bam. All right. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Yep.
Definitely glad we went and caught Splake today. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm going to finish smashing this. I got a little bit more cooking over here, so. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope you enjoyed the uh, catching part. And I hope you learned something on the cooking part. It's really not a hard recipe. It's like the way you cook up any walleye or any other, uh, you know, white flesh fish. So, hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you think. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay well.